If you decide to use anchored VWAPs, make sure that you are choosing significant ones in the context of your trade and also choosing uh, the right place to enter. Just because an AVWAP gets broken does not mean that it's defeated. You actually have to form support against it if you're going long against it. So for example, I took Meta Long on Friday and it was probably not a good trade. And there's a couple of reasons why. So I used this recent pivot high on the D1 just chose an anchored view up from there. I saw this nice little bullish candle. I saw the relative strength coming back in. I saw this nice big bullish bar um, and I saw it break that anchored view up from there. So that means that the buyers are back in control, but it doesn't mean that they have the ball. It just means that they are kind of showing some force again. I didn't wait to see this line get retested. So we broke over it, but we didn't retest it enough as support on the D1. You want to see it retest D1 anchored VWAPs on a D1 level. So you really want to see another day of this test it, reject it, and come back up. So now I wake up and I just get ripped on. I get my face ripped off, but it doesn't mean I'm allowed to take the loss because there could be support further down because of all this bullishness through here. We've got this algo line through here or possibly through there. We've got this 50 SMA right through there. And the reason why this thing got pulled back so hard was because Big tech is selling off a lot more right now, um, but also I just didn't have that relative volume that I actually needed. So I really needed to see that Friday be higher volume. If you wanted to take a setup like this, you gotta see something like AVGO. You see AVGO, same setup, right? So if I look at this anchored volume weighted average price, it kind of challenges a bit right through there or you know breaks it potentially, I don't know, but, but look at the volume. The volume shows you that actually the whale's back home and it's coming back out to eat. Whereas with Meta, that's not the case. So now, here's where I was stuck on Meta. I had to watch this thing draw down, draw down, draw down, and I had to watch it test the next level of support. So many times people will just take the loss through there and then it bounces back. You have no idea how this D1 candle is gonna finish until the end of the day. So you really have to, you have to take the hit, the potential hit to watch it test this algo slash SMA area. So now it's tested it. As you can see, the volume is declining, declining, declining. And then we finally get this buying volume, nice, nice little stacked candles, green chunk, good chunk of volume through here. We're not out of the woods yet. Remember, just because you break an anchored volume weighted average price, so the selling off the high through here, oof, I just use that area right through there. Just because you broke it doesn't mean that you're out of the woods just yet. You have to revisit it and beat it. So you have to revisit it and bounce off it. That's what you need to see. Um, sometimes that will run against you as well. If you look at something like EYPT. So EYPT is a really nice momentum ticker. And <laughs> these things are all marked up like crazy, right? But it's a really nice momentum ticker. Uh, and Dave and I were eyeing it up and Dave took it long and I rushed into it long as well. But if you look at it, so here's the anchored volume weighted average price through here. We see it rip through the whole thing, but we really need to see it retested as support. And the reason why this doesn't count is because pre-market EYPT on this day reached that high. So the actual anchor is higher up. The anchor was kind of somewhere around and through there. So you break through it, you need to see the bounce and then go. You can't just break through it and then take the long right up through there. So you either take the long into it or you take the long after the bounce off the anchor volume weighted average price. Kind of a ranty video, but uh, now we're gonna see how Meta does. Hopefully what I wanna see on this thing is a bounce off VWAP and then possibly recovery, it's gonna take a couple more days to profit if it profits at all. And if it doesn't profit, I will probably take a loss. Well, you know what, I've got this upsloping algo line that supports, so I'm just gonna continue using it as my, my support because the longer I stay in the trade, the less my downside becomes.